What is up guys? Good morning and welcome back once again to Casual Cash where we follow my financial journey and just financial advice throughout the world. Today is quite an exciting episode for me at least and I think quite an interesting one. We're going to dive right into my 125,000 Rand Easy Equities portfolio. I'm going to show you what's doing well, what's not doing well, why I got it, am I going to sell it, and hey, maybe you'll get some interesting advice from it or some tips and tricks. Information is the best tool you can have in this game. So let's get started and move on to the first one. As you can see, we're having a look at the purchase date, we're looking at the investment type, the reason it was bought, what the plan is, and any particular notes for this individual instrument. So first off, we're starting off with the Invest S&P 500 Infotech. Now I both bought this share in 2020, used as an investment for capital appreciation. That's where the share price is the main aspect. We want that investment value to go up, not necessarily looking for dividends or cash distributions. And the plan on this is just to hold and to keep holding. Because this is an infotech stock, we're talking about Facebook, we're talking about Google, we're talking about Zoom. The kind of companies that are gonna really lead us into the future. So we're up 45% in the span of just a year. Phenomenal growth, and this is really something I'm gonna be holding on to for the long term. Then we go on to Accelerates. This is a property fund here in South Africa. They own Fourways Mall, they own a couple of others. One of the shares that have been hit by COVID, but as you can see over the year, it's recovering strong. I've bought this a couple of times, 2015, 2016, 2017, and the main reason for this is the dividends. It's a real estate investment trust, pays dividends twice a year, and they are quite a nice percentage. So yes, COVID hit all property stocks hard, but this is the hold because it's gonna pay us dividends uh, all the way into the future, hopefully once COVID calms down a little bit because we didn't get anything in 2020 and 2021 but hopefully those are forthcoming. Next is a fun one. If you look at the previous video on my channel, you will see a bit of a breakdown of this share which we bought recently, just this month, uh, about a week ago in fact. ARK Investments, African Rainbow Capital, this is Patrice Motsepe, this is Time Bank, this is Rain, and this is doing really well so far. Uh, up 4.5%, just in a matter of a week, 66% in a year, and I think it's going to be much more in the time to come. The reason for this one is capital growth potential. Um, smaller amounts, 2,000 Rand, bought the share. I want it to rise at least 100% and then I'll sell it off uh, when it gets to that point. But if it keeps growing, we'll keep it. So that's African Rainbow Capital. Next up is Arrowhead Properties. Once again, these real estate investment trusts give incredible dividends. This one in particular has been such a top performer. Um, so I bought some of this in 2017, a couple of times, and this paid dividends all the way through COVID as well. This is one to hold on to, and if things go well, I'll keep it for the rest of my life, getting those dividends, those cash flow income uh, every six months nonstop. Avenge. If you know this share, you'll know that the people who own it are called the Avengers. <laughs> This share price lost about 98% of its value uh, through a badly run company. And since then, the price has been dirt cheap. And it's been on the rise. They're back in profitability, and it seems to be looking good. So as you can see, 42% up. It went through a share consolidation. Long story short, this is a penny stock. This is something that dropped exponentially. I literally bought these for three cents at a point in time um, since they did the, before they did the consolidation. But any growth here is exponential. So if you put in 5,000 like we did here, we're up to 7.3. I think in five, 10 years, that will compound into amazing amounts. So this is hold, uh, let the company recover and make some big, big profits. Facebook, I don't need an introduction. You know what Facebook is. I bought this share on a dip after some bad news came out on Facebook. They had a worldwide outage. They're also having some privacy issues at the time. Regardless, the fundamentals and the numbers are strong. So when bad news comes out, people sell. And that's when I decided to buy. So I bought it on a bit of a dip. Uh, so far, it's doing okay. This particular time um, was when Omicron came out. 
Long story short, this is a good one to, to, to hold for a while and will sell it when it makes some good profits. You can't go wrong with blue chips like Facebook. But where you can go very, very right is with Tesla. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I think this share is way, way, way overvalued. So much value placed in the future and I hope it gets there. But for the meantime, I don't mind profiting off it. So this was another buy that we took at a good entry point. Um, it had just recently bought some very big Bitcoin holdings and Bitcoin had gone down and people decided to sell Tesla because of it. Created a 30% drop in the price. And that's when I dived in because Nathan Rothschild said, fortunes are not made when the pianos are playing in the hall, but where the cannonballs are firing in the docks. So when it goes down, I purchase, and as you can see, it's gone up. We've made 76.59% in a matter of about six months. 2,000 Rand investment, this made an extra 1.5. Not bad at all. If you want to see how to buy this yourself, there's also another video on our channel. In blue place, literally the only share this year that's gone down over the one-year period You'll see everything else is in the green. It's a single share that's in the red. It's a residential real estate investment trust. Um, clearly not doing so, so well. But they also paid dividends entirely through 2020 and 2021. So I'm going to keep it. Very good dividends, actually. This is the New Funds Reitway Global Property. Long story short, it is a offshore diversification. Uh, they invest in properties and property funds all over the world. Uh, very diversified, very stable, and all of the dividends get automatically reinvested back into the share. So almost guaranteed to appreciate in price continually for hopefully the rest of my life. We're already up 24%, by 25% in a matter of six months. Just imagine what this will be in 10, 20 years. Awesome, awesome share. Really glad I got that one. <laughs> you probably don't know what you're looking at right now. So this is a share that I can't talk about because I'm involved with it uh, in, in the real world. So everything is blocked out there. Long story short, uh, 26,000 Rand value. Um, gone up a little bit and very good dividends. That's all I can say on that. But just so you know, that's part of the portfolio. Purple Group, Purple Group. The platform that we use here, Easy Equities, is done by Purple Group and they've grown massively. I mean, just look at that share price, 147% in a year. They pay no dividends, but I'm holding that one because I've seen incredible growth and an incredible company. Good management counts for a lot. Rebosis. This is another penny stock similar to Avenge. They lost also 98% of their share value. Um, I actually held it um, at the time when they dropped that amount. So that wasn't nice. Um, but it's all fine. And the thing is, as you can see, we've got 751 Rand in the stock. If something goes even worse, it doesn't matter. That's nothing. But if it recovers to where it was, it's an incredible increase. And that's why we bought extra, um, to buy it as a penny stock and to see where it goes. This is a bit of a bet. Let's see how it pans out over the time to come. The next one, simple. You all know it. A lot of people love it. NASDAQ 100, a bit more of a tech stock uh, for international diversification in the portfolio. 38% in a matter of a year worth holding on to, but this is just for some international offshore diversification out of the South African market. S&P 500, nearly exactly the same reason. The top 500 um, US companies, and as you can see, some phenomenal growth, 34% in a year. A lot of these offshore ones I bought just as COVID was recovering, and man, <laughs> they've been doing well. Steinhoff, another bet of mine. You might have heard of the accounting scandal that uh, took 40 billion rand off Christo Weiss's portfolio. Um, even the, the government pension scheme, huge, huge scandal, uh, massive problems, nearly 100% drop in their share price. This one I bought thinking that ah, if it goes back up, we're going to make some big money and it really doesn't have far down to go. Um, so that's a bet. We'll see how it pans out. I'd say the next two to five years. Store age. Real estate investment trust for storage units, right? Where you go in and, and store your items when you can't afford to keep them in your house, whatever the case, incredibly good stock. One piece of advice, I would have a look at this. Um, 
temporary dip, but I mean, 4% up over the year. But the main thing, the dividends, guys. Great, great dividends. Solid company. Also has international holdings. Ah, this is one I'm quite fond of. Signia, Fourth Industrial Revolution. These are all the shares that should benefit from the fourth industrial revolution, the tech age, the AI age, the metaverse, all these kind of things. It's a conglomeration of all of those type of stocks, uh, up 19% for the year. The previous two years, it was up hundreds of percent. Uh, we're up 27%. Very good, very good price for a year. Something to hold for the future and the many years to come. The FTSE 100, 100 biggest stocks in the UK up 20 roughly percent for the year. Also want to hold and diversify outside of the uh, South African economy and the US economy. So it's always good to keep those diversifications across the world. Then we're onto the S&P Global 1200 ESG. ESG stands for Environment, Social and Governance. Guys, these are our green stocks. These are our environmentally friendly, uh, the ones who give back to communities, the feel good companies. But more and more, legislation is being changed to accommodate them and to promote them. So I think it's a growth area. Um, as as tree-hugging as it sounds, government is behind them, and that usually makes the businesses grow. So worth holding on to, in my opinion. Then, also one of my favorites, the prescient income provider. This is where we're talking about income. Income, income, dividends. You can see the share price barely changes, but that's because the fund is meant to be absolutely 99% risk-free, and we get 5% annual income, uh, which should marginally grow every year. Um, and this is just something solid to keep in your portfolio with little risk and some good income. And then to finally finish it off, we have a managed fund, which is the Canon Asset Managers Global Growth. It's their job to look across the world and find the best shares and put it in our portfolio and essentially make us money. So long story short, actually let's make a short story long. Take a look at all the uh, items that it makes up and you can see that we're going all the way to the MSCI, we're going to China, uh, we're going to the Eurozone, we're going to Japan, all what should be some of the best index funds and companies around the world. Uh, really diversifying and it's shown some good growth as well so guys thank you that is it for today's episode taking you through my 125 thousand rand easy equities south african and international portfolio i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you got some insights and maybe some of these things you can use for yourself only thing i ask you can leave a like on the video if you want but subscribe to the channel because i would love to have you along with the journey every buy every sell every profit and every loss we're going to be putting here on the channel not to mention coming up is my total 400,000 rand portfolio that personally i wouldn't want to miss so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that I'll see you again on this next episode in Casual Cash. Have a good one, guys.